Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you could join me today. I was just making a little soup for dinner tonight. Well, hello, buddy. How are you today? You sound upset. What happened? Well, yes, I'm upset. Well, buddy, if, if you want to talk about it, it might make you feel better. Boys and girls, would you like to help make Buddy feel better? I would too. Buddy, why don't you tell us about it and we'll listen. Thanks. It, 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 isn't, it isn't fair. What's not fair, Buddy? My brother got a package in the mail yesterday. A really big package. Well, that sounds nice. No. No, 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 it isn't, it isn't nice at all. I didn't get a really big package. I didn't get a medium package. I didn't get a little tiny package. I didn't get anything at all. Well, buddy, you sound like you're jealous and feeling left out. I'm sorry. Yes, why, why did my brother get a big package? And, and, and I didn't get a package at all. It's not fair. Well, I don't really know. Who sent the package? My grandpa. The letter said he was sending my brother building materials to make a really big doghouse. Well, what does your brother need a really big doghouse for anyway? Well, he's the oldest. Grandpa said he should get ready to be the next leader of the family. He, he's supposed to help take care of me and, and the rest of my brothers and sisters. Well, buddy, that sounds like a really big job. Yep, I wouldn't want to do all of that work. But, 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 but it still isn't fair that I didn't get a really big package and, and I didn't get anything. Buddy, the package that your brother got was filled with supplies to make a doghouse so your brother could take care of you and your other brothers and sisters, right? I guess so. Hmm. Maybe I could ask my brother if I could help him work on his doghouse. That would be nice, huh? Yes, buddy, that would be the kind thing to do. The Bible tells us to be kind to others and to love them. I know you can do it, buddy. Yes, I can. Bye. Bye, buddy. Well, boys and girls, I'm really proud of Buddy, aren't you? He's making a choice to help his brother by being kind. You know, we've been uh, learning about some brothers in the Bible. Their names were Jacob and Esau. They were twins. When a mommy has one baby, um, that's how it, how it usually happens. But when she has two babies, that's what we call twins. Well, Jacob and Esau in our Bible story today were twins, but they were very different. Esau was kind of a reddish color and he had red hair. He was kind of hairy all over. And Jacob didn't have hardly any hair and his skin was very smooth. Well, on the, on the day that they were born, Esau was born first, and right after that, Jacob was born. And since Esau was the firstborn, someday when his father passed away, he would become the leader of the family. He would also own most of all the things his father owned. Now, Jacob would own a few things, but he didn't like that. He wanted more. As the boys grew, um, they still became, they were still just very different. Esau liked to hunt and be outdoors and Jacob liked to be indoors and cook. Well, one day Esau had been out hunting. He had been out hunting all day long. He probably got up very early in the morning and uh, hunted all day. He was very, very tired and very, very hungry. As he uh, got home, he could smell that his brother Jacob had been cooking. 
he could smell the most delicious stew ever. Now, stew is kind of like what I'm fixing, soup. It's, it's kind of like that. So it smelled really, really good. And Esau was so hungry, so of course he asked Jacob, can I have a bowl of stew? Well, Jacob said, no, can't have stew. Esau said, let me have some stew. He was so hungry and so tired. So Jacob said, okay, I'll give you some stew if you make me a promise. Promise me that when our dad passes away, I can be the leader of the family and most of his things will belong to me. Well, Esau thought about it. He was so hungry. He thought he would die. He was so hungry. He needed something to eat. And so he agreed um, to let Jacob be the leader of the family for a bowl of stew. Well, boys and girls, Jacob knew that wasn't a fair trade. He knew that he had, he had been unkind to his brother, and he knew that he had not loved his brother Esau the way God would want him to. Mmm, something smells good. Yeah, I made stew. Would you like a bowl? I would love some. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, boys and girls, before I leave, let's practice our Bible verse. The verse is from John 4, 7. Let us love one another. Can you say that with me? Let us love one another. Now, when we say the word love, let's make the sign for love. Cross your fist, put them over your chest, and give yourself a squeeze. That's the sign for love. So, say the verse with me, and when we say love, make the sign. John 4, 7, let us love one another. Very good. Let's do it one last time. John 4, 7, let us love one another. Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you soon. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Help us to be kind and to love one another in a way that pleases you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now.